Hey guys, Jen here with Haley Family, and today I want to talk to you about how, um, you know, we have this big motor home, right? Oh gosh. See? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep. That's exactly, that is exactly why we're here today. Hey, so we're um, campers. We like to go all over the place. And um, we now have a dog, we have little kids, and sometimes, even though we have this awesome motorhome, there's little things that kind of drive you crazy. And this is one of those things. So today, we're gonna show you how to fix the problem of the door not staying where it needs to stay. All right guys, so on our door, um, and this has kind of been a problem for a little while and I kind of nagged Brian about it and he said, you know what, that's a problem you can fix yourself. So today, Jennifer's going to be the one to fix the problem. <laughs> So we've got this thing right here. This is called a gas prop um, and it's not working anymore. So we're going to go ahead and um, replace it. So um, first thing we got to do is we got to go ahead and take it off. Um, I looked at Brian and I said, Brian, there's no way to get this off. I don't know. I don't know how to take this off. And he goes, hmm, I've got an idea. Okay. So basically there's this, this ring. Um, it's kind of a metal ring right here on the gas prop and you got to kind of get that off of there before this will come off because this isn't going to come off so we found a handy dandy little tool this is not even anything special some of you might recognize what this is mm -hmm. this is just the tool that you will use to open a can of paint if you go and get it like a normal can of paint so um see how it has a little bit of a curve to it well that's just perfect for getting right up under this metal ring and popping this piece off so i'm going to try to do this I want you guys to see how easy it is. I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera. All right, so you just pop it off the edge there and eventually, once you get it all the way off, this will just come up. There it goes. There you go. That's and it. it's off. Wow. There's see? another one on the bottom too. I can do things. You could do things. <laughs> all right. Look at that. Easy peasy. Yep. So something I can see you want to watch out for when you're taking this one off is there is like a little bit of a seal right here. So you don't really want to puncture that. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to try to watch out for that. So basically what this does is this keeps the door where you want it to be. Um, so right now you can see when I let go of the door, it's going to open as wide as whatever it stops it. So in our case, the awning is stopping it now. So let's test this thing. Can you push it together? Oh. And I'd say you're probably not supposed to be able to do that. No. So so anyway, with us having the kids and the dog and stuff, and we are in and out of the RV constantly, I would like to be able, to, for this door to be able to stay open and maybe have the screen door closed. Um, but right now, once we level, the door just kind of closes on its own. Um, which is great for not letting bugs and stuff like that in. But when I'm making four or five trips in and out of the RV, it's kind of, with your hands full of stuff, it's kind of obnoxious. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and replace this. So Brian is going to tell us how to measure for this. He's gonna explain and I'm gonna do the measuring and we're gonna order the right part. Tell me what to do. So you gotta have this tape measure and you're gonna set it down, push it completely closed and measure it from end to end. Then okay. you're gonna open it all the way up you shouldn't be able to open this this easy. It should be far, pretty hard to open it, and you're gonna measure it from end to end fully open. Okay, okay, got it. You have to be able to read a tape measure, I suppose. Yes. Okay, I can do it. Okay, switch places. So come on down here and let's take a look at this together. Okay, so this is completely closed, um, closed at this moment, so I need to get an end to end measurement. Um, do I need to measure that? I don't probably need to measure that ring. I just need to measure the very yep, end of the just piece. Just the very end. Okay, so that is just past the one foot mark. Okay, okay. so one foot is 12 inches. Okay. Okay, and so. it's a little bit past the 12 and a half. So how precise do I got to be there, Brian? Uh, about just say 12 and a half. There's a chart and you'll find okay. the one that's closest. Okay, so 12 and a half inches closed and then I'm going to extend it and do a measurement as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it apart. So then I'm going to measure it from end to end with it extended 
and it is just over 20 and a half inches okay. when it's extended. Okay. So 12 and a half and 20 and a half. Okay. And there's a handy chart you can use. We will link um, the, uh, what are these? The, the gas prop. The gas prop that we found um, in the, the thing below. Description. And that comes with a chart. So we went ahead and found the one that was closest to our measurement. And you see the total length right here is 20 inches. Okay, yeah, so it has 20 inches. And then it says a force of 20, 20 pounds. pounds. Brian, what's that mean? So that's the 20 pounds of force in both directions. Because it's a gas prop, it's 20 pounds in both directions. So pull that one out because it's fully ex oh. it's fully extended already. Yeah, it is. And try to push it down. Oh, gosh, I can't. Oh. I've been working out, too. I should be able to do this. Yep. Can't. You see how our old one was broken? So, yep. our old one is this one. Yep. Remember, I can pull it out really super easy and it just goes right in. Yep. This one is um, new. Mm hmm. And I can't, I can't yep. at all. So, let's put it on there. Okay. So, does it matter what side I put on with? Yes. Okay. This side goes onto the RV. Okay. And the other side goes onto the door. Okay. So, fantastic news. There's instructions on the back, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> So, no big deal. So we're going to put this side on the RV. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Brian, do I have to take this little metal piece off? Yes, you'll have to push that Same off. Thing. Okay. There's a little groove on this one. Yeah. This one's maybe a little nicer than our old one was. Yep, just like that. Do I have to go all the way to the end? Like you I shouldn't did? have to go all the way to the end. Just enough to push it on there. Yep. Oh. That... Uh, oh, hold on. I got stuck with my sunglasses, but I want to show everybody what's going on here. Oh, okay. See in here? Can you guys see in here? Can you focus on that? Mm, sort of, yeah. See these little little teeth? Yeah. When you move that, it moves it out of the way. It moves them out of the way, and that's how it hooks onto it. Let me yep. show you. I want to show you. Okay, can is it focused? Yeah, sort of. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys. But I'm yeah, trying they, to. they just move out of the way, and then you can put it right. Oh, out. did you see it? I think so. Yeah. There you go. See, it opens up, so it's going to grab a hold of this knob. The here. ball. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, I get it. Put it on so I'm there. I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to lift it up. Can you see? I'm lifting it up. And, oh, Put it just popped on there so easy. Popped on there. Okay, there you go. Good. And now it's not coming off. Yep. Here, okay. I'll hold the door for you. Okay. Well, wait a second. Oh, oh, I can turn it. Okay. Yep. It turns. Now you find your knobby down here. Find your knobby down there. Okay. Hold on. Let me find the ball. There you go. Oh, too far. And there we go. It, and then it should just pop right on there when you pull Oops. the knob out. Here, I'll hold the door. Sometimes you need more than one set of hands. Oh. Yeah. There, it there it goes. Oh, there you go. It's okay. Done. Now I'll shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, that's kind of hard to put. Yep. Now open it up. All right. Well, nice. yeah. It'll push it all the way open. Okay. Now it'll push it all the way open, and I'm still able to do all your things. Open the slide, or not the slide. I'm the, sorry, the screen. screen. Door. Yep. There you go. Now, try again. Open it up. It should push it all the way open on its own. Boom. Stops. Boom. And stops and holds it open. All right, guys. So it's the little things in life, right? Easy little peasy. that make your life easier. So this gas prop, Brian, how much does this cost? I don't recall. I don't remember. I don't remember. But this is a pretty easy fix. Yes, it was. Pretty easy uh, and probably I, pretty inexpensive too. I'm going to say it was under 20 bucks. Probably. Yeah. So, I don't remember, but. Um, if that needs replaced on your camper, you don't need to pay a dealership to do it for you. you it's it easy peasy. Yep. So, all right. Well, we're going to have some more adventures soon. So in the meantime, if you guys want, you can get out, have an adventure and make some memories.